What's up guys, it's Misty Lovely coming at you. I just uploaded a video, but it was so slow, it irritated me, so I won't put you guys through that. Um, and basically I was talking about um, concerns via family members and worries after WLS. Now granted, I had a lot of concerns before pre-op. Now to learn post-op, even though I've seen the results I've seen, to learn those in my household still feel a way about it. Um, does do my heart um, a disservice as well as it's painful to know. Um, they love me and they care, I understand that. Um, but to worry about something that hasn't occurred yet and not allow me to um, enjoy and reap the benefits of, of what will enjoy the benefits that I've seen thus far, I feel are a bit selfish. Um, Granted, we know the things that can occur after WLS, especially of slap banders that will ask what can happen. I've talked about it in one of my other videos. We know that the band can slip and it can roll, but it, those things can happen. But there are things um, and events that have to occur before that occurs, right? Things such as um, consistently overeating, trying to push things through the band too soon, too much, eating too much. Just because they do, we have all know the cliche saying, just because they do surgery on our stomachs don't mean they do it on our minds. It's, it's the truth. Um, but what do I say to people who say, um, I'm concerned about you because you had weight loss surgery, because something could happen to you at some point. I say to those people, what is the difference between me having a band in my stomach that can stay there for the rest of my life because it's aiding me? and a person who has a pacemaker or a person who has a graph in their arm um, or a person has whoever or a person who has a man-made device assisting them with something whether it's assisting in keeping their heart going assisting in helping the doctors clean the blood of those who have who have to have dialysis um, or being on a machine that's keeping you alive and what is the difference Granted, those are some really heavy things that I know to be comparing a band to, but it's the truth. And I just feel I'm hurt because I feel like it's really selfish to think about what you're thinking about what's going to happen to me. Granted, I appreciate, I know they love me. My sister and my husband love me. But you don't realize that you're possibly sabotaging me because then I'll go into my own head and think the thing. And I refuse to do that. You know, I'm not somebody that's ever went into anything blind. I researched this thing for five years and I've said that so many times here. But, um, like I always say, and I've said it, and I said it in another video, I know that um, a couple of you have probably already seen it, but the fact of the matter is, is that people will always be afraid of the unknown because they, they, they haven't experienced it themselves or they'll always be afraid of what they're ignorant of or they'll always dislike rather what they're ignorant of and ignorance is not stupidity it's merely um, not knowing about a particular thing um, but that's my take on it and I just want to put that out there I know that I put it out there the question out there to um, some of my other fellow WLSers that are doing the 12 Days of Christmas and I would love to hear my viewers feedback on how you feel about the band um, and as a person who is not banded or a person who is pre-op um, are you already getting this um, and what is your response to it so anyway I love you guys I'm going to keep this short and sweet because I like I said, I've already said this, but um, I love you guys, and um, talk to you all later. Bye.